What's up, everybody? Scott Waters. Welcome to Left to Middle. It is time for yet another big edition of The Mail. That's right, seventh edition of The Mail. And this one's going to be kind of a long one. I've got several packages, a couple that I've already opened, and two that I haven't opened at all. So I'm going to start off with the one that I already opened. Um, I got a package in the mail from Oldies.com, um, and I didn't order anything from Oldies.com. As a matter of fact, I stopped ordering from Oldies.com a long time ago because many of the records they were sending me were warped, um, which was annoying. <laughs> so I stopped ordering them. And they had great prices on some classic vinyl that was still sealed, and uh, but they were still sealed and warped, which is one of the reasons I don't keep records sealed because they, the the uh, shrink wrapping tends to warp the records. On top of that, the shrink wrapping can also start sticking to the ink and ruin the cover. So, but regardless, that's not the point. The point was is I got a package in the mail from uh, from Oldies.com, and I was like, I didn't order anything. Um, the only thing I could think of is they sent a back order. One thing that I ordered almost a year ago that never ever came, um, but that wasn't the case. Rather, it was a package from VC member Gregory Short, and he sent me this. Um, this is uh, Angus uh, Track of Doom, um, still sealed, very cool. Um, he showed us on his channel and I liked what I heard and I just mentioned that that sounds great, good stuff. Now Gregory Short uh, doesn't show a lot of metal, he's basically all over the map. I mean everything from rock to jazz to easy listening to, to metal, <laughs> just a little bit of everything. Uh, cassettes and CDs and tapes and tapes and cassettes, that's the same thing, and vinyl. <laughs> Um, but anyhow, I've been watching his channel for at least two years, if not longer, and um, he and I are fellow Kings fans, so go Kings! <sighs> they haven't started off very good, though. In any case, um, so anyhow, this came in the mail, and unfortunately, it was sealed. Unfortunately, coming from Oldies.com, it was warped, but I was able to flatten it enough on the vinyl flat. It's playing in the background now at a low volume. Um, as well, in the package was, um, was this uh, EXE, which is a thrash band. Um, Stricken by, uh, I can't remember now. Stricken by Might. <laughs> uh, classic, albeit corny, cover art, hand drawn. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, I just love the 80s, 80s metal bands and the 80s arts. This one was cool. This one, however, was very flat and played perfectly fine. And then this one I never heard of either. I've seen this one at oldies.com before, never ordered it. Um, this is a Metal Blade release called Tattoo. The name of the album is Blood Red, I believe. And uh, this is kind of a speed metal, thrash metal band. Um, unfortunately, this one was warped as well. Um, and I have this one in the vinyl flat now. Um, we'll see if I can get this one flattened down. I'm hoping I can. I have had success with some albums flattening them perfectly fine. Uh, others, not so much. You know, it just depends. So, uh, here you go. This very cool package. You know, he didn't have to buy me anything. And um, I'm digging all these. So, thank you very much, Gregory. I'll put a link to Greg's channel below. Um, do check him out. And go Kings, go! <laughs> Um, next package was a, uh, um, apparently is a, oh, I left it over there. From Lewis, um, Brother Lewis, who, uh, is a fairly new music community member. I kind of not like the Nevada community member thing anymore because people are showing CDs, tapes, eight tracks. I mean, it's just music, you know, uh, memorabilia. And that's kind of, I'm, I'm into that. I'm, obviously, I like CDs as well as vinyl. But uh, he was showing on his channel a, um, this is a stack of um, seven inch records, most of which were not in sleeves, which drove me crazy. Because, <laughs> you know, he had people, I just like this, the albums of being in sleeves. And uh, he showed a, uh, an album that had a sleeve, and it was this one here. It's an old Atlantic record sleeve. And um, I have had this record here for a long time. This is The Crazy World of Arthur Brown Fire, backed with uh, Rest Cure. Um, of course, um, Vincent Crane wrote, I believe, both those songs. Vincent Crane went on to be with Atomic Rooster, a band I love. Anyhow, I had this, but I didn't have the original record company sleeve. I don't mind record company for singles, but I like them to be in the right sleeve, and this was the right sleeve. So he sent me that, along with, inside the sleeve, uh, this Alice Cooper School's Out single, backed with uh, Gutter Cat from what, 1972, I think? 1972, yep. So, very cool, Lewis. He also sent me a couple of uh, uh, Blast Beats ex um, music samples. Blast Beats used to be a music distribution company. Um, they used to specialize in Christian heavy metal, thrash metal, death metal, thus the name Blast Beats. 
Um, and uh, they used to sell my band stuff, Ultimatum, so uh, yeah, those are very cool. I, I have actually, uh, I've owned these in the past, I don't own them anymore because I think I've passed them on. I'm going to give these a listen, I'm probably going to pass those on as well, but very cool of them to send me those, very cool of them to send me this. Um, very happy to have an original Atlantic record sleeve for the Fire Crazy World of Arthur Brown single. And then uh, I got a package here from a guy who does not make videos. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I didn't ask him if I should mention his name on, on screen or not, so I'm not going to. Uh, we'll just say he's a friend of mine on Facebook, and uh, he said he had a couple things he would like to send me, and he did. So I pre-opened this package, just tore it open, didn't look what was inside. Wouldn't have mattered anyhow because it looks like everything is sealed. There was a letter, which I'll read afterwards so as not to bore you with nothing. <laughs> and uh, in the meantime, I'm going to open up this, see what's inside here. Obviously, it looks like a record. I know, shocking, right? Uh, it's, it needs to be opened up a little better than this. Very well packaged, which is great. <laughs> oh, right on. Now this is a copy of uh, a ZZ Top record that I am missing in my collection. This is Rio Grande Mud, uh, ZZ Top's second album, I believe. I'm missing the first two albums. I always mix them the first two up because I've never actually owned them on vinyl. I've only ever owned them on CD. And the CD versions, at least the ones that I have, are remixed, remastered, and have really annoying digital sounding drums. The original was so more, so much better, so more organic sounding. Uh, and I love this record and I'm glad to have it on vinyl and an original in its original form without the electronic drums added in. And uh, this is a, it looks like a 1972 and this is a pristine copy. This is a, this must be a late 80s repressing because you can tell by the uh, the Warner Brothers label. Very, very cool. Very glad to have this. Thank you very much. Um, all I can say is you know who you are. I wish I would have asked if it was okay to say your name. <laughs> I didn't, didn't, just didn't do it. Uh, and then there's also, it looks like to be maybe a CD in here. Or something. It's in this little box. Maybe a CD and a cassette together. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Oh, <laughs> okay. This is a old Christian heavy metal band on uh, pure, I think it was on pure metal records. Yeah, pure metal records. Force 3 from the UK. Kind of a uh, like 80s new wave of British heavy metal sounding style band. These guys were way late for to be part of that movement. They were like mid 80s. But they kind of have that, you know, that sound. Not real heavy stuff like Raven or, or Venom or even, even Early Maiden. Um, more main, mainstream, more hard rock sounding. Haven't heard this in years. So looking forward to giving that one a, a listen. And there's a CD in here as well. Okay, this is what I am not familiar with. Uh, and there may be more in that letter. It's a pretty lengthy letter. This is a band called The Contortionist on CD. Um, 2012 E1 Records. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this band, so I'll have to check this one out. Thank you very much, brother. Appreciate it. I will contact you on Facebook in case you don't see this video. And let you know uh, that I got everything okay, and I appreciate you sending it to me. Very kind of you. And then there's one more package. This is a, a big old box um, that is black on black. <laughs> um, my address was written on a piece of white paper and taped. His address is written on, in black ink on, on the black box. Very hard to read, but I'm fairly sure I know where this came from. Based on the uh, the mailing label, um, I'm pretty sure this is from from uh, Bill or Helmet Diggy on YouTube, and I'll leave a link to his channel below too. Helmet Diggy's been doing videos, um, vinyl community videos for, for about a year now, um, and he told me he was sending something. That's the only reason I assume this is from him. Plus, the the box came from Connecticut, so he's the only guy I really know in Connecticut. So there you go. All right, let's see what we got in here. I'm pretty sure there'll be a Donnie Marie record here. Actually, there is not a Donnie Marie record on here.
There is, oh my goodness, <laughs> this is freaking awesome. Are you kidding me? Wow, this is the uh, Metallica Through the Never or Never box set, which I do not own in any form or fashion. It's so very cool. Um, wow. Um, yeah, this is a, I think this is a record store day release from either last year or the year before. And frankly, I just didn't have the money to buy it, so I didn't. Um, and there's actually a couple other things in this box too, but so there's the the uh, stencil that came with it, and the uh, the records that came with it. Fuel, ride the ride the lightning. Wow, what is on here? Uh, the next thing of gold, creeping death, ruin the bell tolls, fuel, red lightning, one, men remains, where can I roam, cyanide, and justice for all, um, master puppets, battery, nothing else matters, enter Sandman, hit the lights on Orion, recorded live. Man, this is a really, really cool dude. <laughs> I'm kind of blown away. Um, three records set. You can kind of see all three records kind of have the same. I'm sorry, it's a four record set. And each of the records have the kind of spray painted Metallica logo with the that came with the stencil. This is this is unbelievable, man. I'm shocked that you sent me this. Um, speechless, which is as you guys know, not usual for me <laughs> to be speechless. Wow. Okay. Not that only did he send that, but he also sent the. Um, this is this year's last year's maybe it was. I can't remember. This is the um, fundraiser CD from Metallica, another live CD that, to raise money for um, for the victims in the uh, the France terrorist attacks, which is very cool. This is a live album, uh, and as I recall, this has a lot of old stuff on it. Four Horsemen, Leper Messiah, No Remorse, Fade to Black, uh, Ride the Lightning, Black End, Seek and Destroy, Damage Inc. Frantic being the only newer song on here, of course, from the... Um, it's actually the only song I actually somewhat like from St. Anger. And this is just a cool uh, live compilation, uh, UK, uh, 80s, early 80s uh, live album with uh, Deep Purple, Nazareth doing one of their heavier songs, Razzam and Naz, Motorhead, uh, Def Leppard doing Rocks On, Rainbow, Status Quo, Roll, 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 Roll Over, Lay Down, White Snake, Ain't No Love, In Heart of City, UFO, Lights Out, Gillen, Unchain Your Brain, great song, and Black Sabbath, Paranoid. Uh, all recorded live on stage, so very cool. Uh, again, I'm still blown away by this uh, by this box set. Do check out Hamid Diggy's channel. Um, he shows a lot of vinyl. He shows mostly vinyl, actually, um, and he shows some animal clips <laughs> where he lives. They just always just seem to have uh, bears or raccoons or something roaming around the neighborhood that he's taking pictures of and putting on his YouTube channel. So do check that out. Thank you, uh, everybody. Who uh, is watching this? Thank you for uh, Helmet Diggy, um, Bill for the awesome gifts, and um, man, I'm just kind of blown away. <laughs> so that's it. Um, hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Appreciate you watching. God bless. Stay strong.